Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anane Katimani, and if you're new here, then hi. I make videos every Monday and Thursday focusing on beauty from the inside out. So, as you can see, I'm sitting in a different background because today's video is going to be completely different from anything that you've seen before. I will be leading you through a simple 20 minute yoga flow. So, 20 to 30 minutes of yoga every morning is so important and beneficial to your health just because it is going to wake you up, energize you, and just make you a happier and healthier person. I'm in no way an expert of yoga, but I've been practicing it for a while and it's helped me a lot in my dance uh, in terms of flexibility and my posture. Today's yoga is going to be focused on Hatha Yoga, which is all about the poses and the asanas and not so much the meditation aspect of it. And the best part about this is, as you guys know, any other workout requires a lot of other equipment, but all you need for this is just a yoga mat and yourself. If you like what you see so far and are excited to see what's coming next, make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell so you guys can be updated on when I post my next video. Without any further ado, let's get started. We are first going to start with our neck movements. You're going to keep your feet shoulder width apart, close together. You're gonna reach your hands downward into the ground. You're going to push your shoulders back and down. You're going to first start with up and down, then you're gonna go side to side. Make sure you're using all your neck muscles. You're gonna go head to shoulder, dropping your head down completely. You're then going to be turning your head into a complete circle. Make sure you're letting go of all the stress that's from your neck and upwards. Keep your back straight and still keep reaching into the ground. Next, we're going to be doing a side bend. So keep your feet further apart, more than shoulder width distance, and reach over, bend to the side. You want to make sure that you're not leaning forward. So make sure all the stretch is going to be on your lateral side. From here, you're going to lengthen your knees and your back, and we're going to do Uthita Trikonasana. You're going to reach up into the sky, but make sure to keep your back straight. If you need to keep your knees loose, that's completely fine. You don't have to lengthen it completely. From here, we're going to go into Veera Badrasana 1, also known as Warrior 1. Then Veera Badrasana 2, also known as Warrior 2. Make sure that you are perfecting your postures before moving on to the next pose. You're going to move into Uthita Pashva Konasana. Even for this, make sure that your bend is completely on the side. Get into a deep lunge and feel the stretch on the lateral sides. You're now going to get into a deeper lunge known as Anjaneyasana. You can push your knee outwards, but make sure you're trying to drop your pelvis down. You want to try to open up your hip flexor muscles. Lengthen, go down. Lengthen, and go down. Again, when you lengthen, if you're not able to lock your knees, that's completely fine. When you don't lock your knees, you will actually feel it more in your hamstrings. Reach forward into Prasarita Padottanasana. Reach 
Now we're going to be repeating the same steps on the other side. We are going to start off with Uthitta Trikonasana. Vira Badrasana 1, also known as Warrior 1. Vira Badrasana 2, also known as Warrior 2. Go into Utahita Pashva Konasana. Anjane Asana also known as the low lunge. Make sure you're trying to push your pelvis into the ground. Keep your back straight. And to finish it off, we will be doing Prasarita Padottanasana. Once you've finished both sides, slowly roll back up one vertebrae at a time. You're going to bring your feet together in Uttanasana and reach down. Make sure that your back is completely straight. You are then going to bend your knees and lengthen, bend and lengthen. You're going to loosen, you're going to lock your knees, then unlock, lock and unlock. By working these muscles, you should slowly feel as though you're going lower and lower each time. Next, we will be going into Vriksasana, also known as the tree pose. This is a very popular pose, but make sure that you focus on your posture. You want to keep your back straight. Shoulders roll down and back. Hands up. Reach for the sky. The trick is to stare at one point and keeping that contact will help you balance. We are now going to move on to just an introductory Surya Namaskara flow. So reach down, step back. We've done this before but now we're going to do a plank. So make sure to put the other leg back and straighten your back. Reach upwards into a downward dog position and we're going to lengthen our calf muscles. Try to reach your heel into the ground. Every time you fold in and then lock, push your heels into the ground. The entirety of the back of your leg should be lengthening. You're going to bring your knees down, go back, and stay in Balasana, also known as the child's pose. Relax your muscles and reach forward. 
make sure to put your entire leg down. So don't stay on your toes. From that position, you're going to go into Supta Virasana, also known as the reclining hero's pose. This might be difficult in the beginning, but make sure that you're slowly getting into the posture or you might hurt your quads. Make sure you're taking deep breaths in and out. The next two poses is something majority of the people have heard of. We're going to be going into Bitalasana and Marjariyasana, also known as cat and cow. When you're in cow, you're going to push your belly down and lengthen your back upwards. When you're in cat, you're going to curve your back upwards and look down. Make sure you're taking in deep breaths as you do these two. From there, you're slowly going to bend back and we're going to go into Ustrasana, also known as the camel pose. As you can see, we started with all standing asanas and we're slowly going down. So now we have reached a point where we're going to be sitting on the ground. So to start off, we will be doing Baddha Konasana, also known as the butterfly pose. It is very important that you pull your leg inwards. You must roll your shoulders back and down. Push your knees into the ground and slowly bend forward, but make sure that your back is completely straight. If you're not able to go all the way down, focus on pushing your knees into the ground. So if your knees are higher up in the air, take both hands to push it down and count till 10. Slowly when the knees can go into the ground, you can start lengthening your back and going forward. In order to go down, you don't want to curve your back or you're eventually going to get hurt. You're slowly gonna take one knee out straight in front of you. This is called Janu Sirsasana, also known as head to knee pose. The same thing that I said before, you don't want to bend from your back, you want to bend from your waist. So make sure that you take your hands around your waist and push that down forward, not your back. Your back should be completely straight. As you slowly bring both feet in front of you, you will start performing Paschimottanasana, which means to be seated and a forward bend. Reach forward. This is not easy for most people, especially if they have long legs. So you want to go step by step, slowly. Reach up till your knees by keeping your back straight. Reach up till your shins by keeping your back straight. Then slowly as you go down, reach your hands to your legs. Then slowly start bringing your head down and reach your head to your knee. You are then going to get into a side seated wide angle pose you're going to spread open your legs as much as possible you're going to reach down onto one side again bending from the side but not so much from the front try to keep your feet pointed if you're not able to push them out that's okay each and every single asana or pose that we've done so far focuses on opening up those hip flexor muscles. So 
again it's going to take some time for you to become more flexible from here we're going to bend forward and we're going to be doing the upavista konasana also known as the wide angle seated forward bend the difference between the first two names is when you're reaching down towards the side is pashva upavista konasana when you're bending forward straight it's upavista konasana if you follow my instagram fitness page i show you five different exercises that can help you become more flexible this next one is one of the most important ones it is called mukhaikapada paschimottanasana it is a variation because i'm keeping my legs further apart this again i believe will help me open up my hip flexors a bit more another pose the majority of the people know is called kapotasana or pigeon pose you're going to bring one leg inwards fold them point your toes keep your back straight and reach upwards this next movement is for more advanced practitioners in order to get a better stretch the leg that is straightened can be picked up off the ground bent use your back and your side to pull it inwards and give a nice stretch you can then bring it to ekapada raja kapotasana also known as one legged king pigeon pose this pose takes a lot of time to perfect you need to have flexibility in your back and in your hips and in your legs the last one on the ground we're going to be going into ardha purvottanasana also known as the reverse tabletop pose keep your hands facing your feet you're going to push your butt and your back off the ground you should feel as though your belly button is being pulled by a string upwards into the sky so you can lift yourself up your legs your quads and your calves meet at a right angle your hands and your body meet at a right angle once you're done with this yoga flow you can try some of these other asanas that are more advanced chakrasana also known as the wheel pose as you slowly bend back downwards reaching over touching the ground as you do a back bend picking up your entire body this requires a lot of back flexibility shirasana also known as a headstand focus deeply on your breath have a point so you can focus on it this will make it easier for you to balance try to keep your legs as straight as possible If you're trying this for the first time, surround yourself with some pillows. So when you fall backwards, there will be something soft to catch you. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it um, and were able to follow along with me. Remember that beauty from the inside and just working on yourself physically and mentally and emotionally from within is a process, and yoga is a great way to start. If you found this yoga flow a little bit difficult, then make sure that you keep doing the same thing over and over again. So over time, you become comfortable in doing these asanas. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, then please make sure to hit that like button and want to see more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next week.